MLB Network has baseball from the Emerald City T-Mobile Park in Seattle. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Texas Rangers and the Seattle Mariners. It's baseball on MLB and Network, now, and it's coming up 2026, next. Seattle Mariners. Mackenzie Gore, a lefty from North Carolina, gets the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully, he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Now the first pitch. Leody Tavares is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. And fellas you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah Matty you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the heart of the plate not executing down and away. Not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off him. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really oh, like yeah. a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. In now, Jacob Amaya. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He'll start this one at 274. Four home runs and 29 driven in. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Scooped up on to first, and there were two down. Jordan Alvarez. Striding in is Jordan Alvarez. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And that's going to be high two and two now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. The two two. Gets him looking up around the letters. Rangers set down in order. Nothing to start for the Rangers. Mariners coming up. You're watching MLB Network. Jorge Lopez gets the starting assignment for the Rangers in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a hot pitcher right here. His last three starts, all three, he's picked up wins. And if he can continue that, he should be on his way to winning his fourth in a row. It'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. So now here is Noel V. Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the stretch. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. 
They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Behind 0-2 now. And he got him. Batting second. Next no to stand team. in is Bryant Packard. Packard. First pitch of the AB now. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Here it comes. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Victor Robles digging in now. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Counts even at one and one to Victor Robles. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Hey, this guy's dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Softly hit here to the left side. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Mariners. We are still scoreless. Stepping up is Reese Hoskins. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Reese Hoskins. First pitch coming, here it is. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. Left side of the infield into the shift. He's got it. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. That is it. The third baseman, J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First offering. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Robles calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. 
Up next, Julio Rodriguez. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Now the first pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Yanked on the ground down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. Pitch on the way. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Fastball just inside. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. A shot down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Into the corner and slicing foul. No score here as we play inning number two. Back up. The, oh, no, that got him. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So here's the cleanup hitter, Francisco Mejia, set to lead off the home the half pitcher. of the second. Francisco Mejia. He's set and the pitch. Not surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side and he'll step on first himself for the out. Patty Fitt, the designated hitter. Eddie Rosario. Next to hit, Eddie Rosario. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. The 2 0 on the way. 3 and 0 now. Three ball. No Here it comes. 3 and 1. One out, nobody on. There's That's ball four. Batting six. The second baseman. Yeah. Next up, Chad yeah. DeLaguerra. Stretch, here's the pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. 
You know, Dero, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. Down low, and the plot thickens here, three and zero. Oh. He's really going to need to keep the walks down in this start. He's in danger of walking the second guy in two innings here. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Now at the plate, here is Salvador Perez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. From the belt, the pitch. Two and oh now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Boy, look at that thing dart. It's full now, three and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Full count still. Rosario over at second. De La Guerra is over at first with one away. Again, he sends it out of play. Another full count pitch home. Hit hard back up the middle. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More from MLB Network Saturday Baseball after this. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He's the number seven hitter but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's one and oh. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is. Ouch that one hit him. So next to the plate for Texas Jeff McNeil. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Two balls and two strikes now. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Full count, three and two. 
this would be an absolute terrible start to the inning. After drilling the first guy, you can't allow the second guy to reach pace via the walk. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that will end up a foul ball. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So now here is Miguel Amaya looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is one of those classic bunt situations here, but it's not a given anymore like it used to be, and that's the case even more so in the American League. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. There's a good breaking ball as he gets the bottom of the zone. Hey, be on the lookout right here. Usually when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking, now he'll try and throw it in the dirt, get you to fish a little bit. I want to see where he goes here. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. At the plate now, Leody Tavares. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Oh, one one count, here's the pitch. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, Getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. One there on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Stepping in once again is Jacob Amaya. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. The set and the 1-1. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ballgame. Hit in the air down the right field line. A dive, but it's off his glove. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now, now working the edges painting the corners but he left this one right over the plate and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there.
That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. As he'll lift it up in the air, this is back behind second. De Lugera is there. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch, so just the one run scores here in the frame. A run for the Rangers thanks to the RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 1-0 Texas. Bottom of the inning now. And digging in is the outfielder, Johan Mieses. The right fielder, Johan. Now the pitch. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Good pitch there, had him a little out in front. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting none. And now in the box, Jordan Cowan. First pitch on its way. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Swings through it for strike number two. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Three and two, full count. Bases are empty, one man out. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. He'll try it again, three and two. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Into the box now, Noel V. Marte. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 0 1 pitch. Two out, nobody on. To first. Hoskins has it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The love of the game runs deep with these folks. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. First offering. 
as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far but it's going to be tested here four five and six coming up this part of the lineup one and one. This guy's been really on point so far but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four five and six right here. Swing and a flare down the line in there a base hit. He'll get it into second and he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Into the box, J.D. Davis. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. So far this year against Southpaws, Davis is holding on to a batting average way down in the two tens. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Three and zero to him now. Hoskins leads off second with nobody out. That one's in there three and one. And it's up to a three two full count now. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Not too often you see an at bat go from 3 and 0 to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3 0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. Standing in now, Julio Rodriguez. This is line to left. Packard will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The center fielder, number 27, Max Kepler. Next up is Max Kepler, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set. Here it comes. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. <laughs> hey, you think the game plan is to pitch this guy inside? They plunked him in the first at bat, and they're clearly coming right back in again. Here's the 1 0. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. One run, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. A ball and two strikes. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. The one two pitch. And he takes strike three called as Clyde Washington's strike zone may have expanded a bit there, and the inning is over. Rangers leave one. They lead it one to nothing. At the plate now is Bryant Packard struck out in his first at bat. Yeah but it was a good change up Matty good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. One and oh the count. Can't catch up to that pitch and it's a ball and a strike. It's a hit the first of the game for the Mariners. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. To 
to the plate now Victor Robles as he'll ground this one fouled off to the left side. He's 0 for 1 thus far. That one bends into the zone a strike on the breaking ball. There's another pitch for a strike and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight being aggressive early on and if he continues to throw strikes like he is he's going to have a pretty good night. And a change up swung on and missed for the first down. The great equalizer the change up that was a really good job of getting him to offer at that one out of the zone and it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead in the count and forced the hitter to have to protect that's the name of the game. Stepping in now Francisco Mejia as with one away he can't make contact on the first pitch it's strike one. and one delivery pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact now a throw over and the runner back safely hit on the ground to third Davis brings it in on to first and it's another double play They're second in the first four innings as that one will retire the side they make it look easy don't they around the horn for the double play to end the inning more baseball on MLB Network right after this all ready to go in the top of the fifth and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil number six. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And he fouls this one off. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. And that'll bring in Miguel Amaya. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Right fielder coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Leody Cabrera. At the plate, Leody Tavares. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Comes set and the 0 1. Misses for ball one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1. Oh. 
On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Rangers on top here, one to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mariners manager to discuss his thoughts on Seattle's offense so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Eddie Rosario. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now here's the pitch. The 0 1 pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hit down the third baseline. And another foul ball. Four foul balls in this A.B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. 2 2 he is swung on and missed. He got him. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Late now, Chad DeLaguerra, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. 261, the average coming into action here. Eight home runs, 27 driven in. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And this is poured in at the letters, two and one now. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Down the third baseline. And that's through for a hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. First pitch on the way. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. And this is lined hard to deep left. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. The relay, and it's in time. He's out at second as a good relay gets him. Now back, right here. 
So now to the plate, Johan Mieses. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And there's ball one. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. The set and the two and one. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs on two base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Rangers lead this one one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop, Jacob Amaya. Jacob Amaya. Here's the first pitch. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. And double barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left hander and a right hander start to throw. The 1 0 home. Heading out towards shallow right. Mieses has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now to the plate, here is Jordan Alvarez. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. No balls in one strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. That's the ball. One ball, one strike. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. in the air down the line in left and that is down as that could be two bases now this will rattle up against the wall and he's in there easily at second with a one out double boy after that base knock right there D roll he extends his hitting streak to seven games yeah and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week you're doing things right he's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball not trying to do too much. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 0 1 on its way. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Pilaguerra over to his left, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So a runner at second, two down now, and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Alvarez at second with two down. And he watches one miss outside, 2 0 now. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. over two and one his slider has been impressive all night long if he can continue spinning it like that he's going to be just fine
Here's the 2 1. Lifted down the line in left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He set the 2 2. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Now batting the right field. Into the box, Julio Rodriguez. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. And he lays off for ball one. One ball, one strike. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Got a piece, it's two and two. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Two down, runners at first and second. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Rangers leave a pair, but they lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Jordan Cowan. The third baseman, Jordan Cowan. And now the first pitch. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. In there, and it's even at one. Ready with the one and one. And it's one and two. Slap hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. Up next to Seattle. Not shortstop. No LB. Into the box, Noel V. Marte. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Now the 1 0. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Two and zero pitch on the way. Oop. Runners on the move for second. Oh, he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And gone! A dramatic home run that gives them their first lead of the game. 
A two run blast to straight away right field number 10 for him on the year as the Mariners have now taken a two to one lead. When this one left the bat I thought it was going to be an easy out to right but it just kept carrying and carrying and the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back but no dice. Ranger Skipper is up off his seat in the dugout now to make the walk to the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here didn't pitch all that poorly yet he's gone nonetheless. Ladies Chance Adams is out from the please. bullpen now as he'll make now his first appearance here on the season. Number 49. To the plate now, Bryant Packard. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here's the 0 1. Here's a drive out toward the gap in left center. Around first, digging for two. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Stepping in now, Victor Robles. 0-1 the count. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Side two and one. And facing right handed pitching so far this season, Robles is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. The catcher, number 28. Ron so it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring in the catcher, Francisco Mejia. From the stretch, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Packard at second, Robles at first with no outs. 2 and 0 now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. 3 and 0 now. Eddie Rosario will be next. Three zero pitch. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. First and second here with nobody out. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. 
Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no, no part of the three ten. or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this kind of five hole is just as dangerous. Next, it'll be Eddie Rosario. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. The relay throw, and no chance there. He'll make it to third safely. One of the now things you want to do as an offense, man. right, is stay yeah. fundamental and keep pushing. Come a great there job on. there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Digging in next, Chad DeLaguerra. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Now here's the first offering. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. and Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they'll tack on the run with the sack fly. It's now a four to one ball game. Usually when you score a lot of runs in one inning like this inning you're doing a lot of things right. And how about this a sack fly to drive in another run. They have to be happy with this. And up steps Salvador Perez a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And now the first pitch now a ball line toward right center and that falls in for a solid base hit his second of the night and that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. now Right field. I mean that fires me up right there opposite field knock and in today's game where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way was special. At the plate Johan Mieses now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball no hits to this point. Oh and one here it comes. He's not having his best outing in this one and I think that curveball is part of the reason why he couldn't get on top of that one and that's not the first time that's happened. Four runs here in this half inning. Popped high in the air. Davis waits on it. And that ends the inning. Nine men come to the plate. Four score. We're through six full. Seattle leads this one four to one. Nick Margavichus is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll and that'll bring up the outfielder Max Kepler. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of both in terms of battling back showing some resiliency and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead locking down that W. Out in front of it strike one. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Oh. 
rolled slowly down the first baseline. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting, number six. Ready now is Jeff McNeil. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Now the 2 1 is in off the plate. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Now the payoff pitch home. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball now four. Back. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3 2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Next to hit is Miguel Amaya. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Has a look now the pitch out in front there is this one's pulled off to the left side McNeil leads off first with one away left side there's one on to first it's a double play as their woes continue the inning is over nothing doing for the Rangers they trail it four to one. Matt Tabor will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Jordan Coward. Baseman, Jordan Coward. He's set and the pitch. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. One and two now as that one's fouled off. The pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strike out. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Noelvi Marte will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two run home run that really got his guys going. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. That misses one and one. one, and one. Two and one, one count now to the Mariners leadoff batter. Yeah. 
And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now batting. Left fielder. And now here is Bryant Packard. He hit a two bagger Packard. and later scored in his previous plate appearance. First delivery to him. Hit on the ground to short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mariners are down in order as they hold on to a four to one lead. Josh Spores has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Leody Tavares will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Here it comes. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Here comes the 0-1. Oh. One ball, one strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 2-1 home is a fastball that misses. If you're at the plate in this situation you're only thinking one thing and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next here is Jacob Amaya. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. To the left side, but it's well foul. Eighth inning, 4 to 1 is our score. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Here comes the one two. Hit hard down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And he'll pull into second with one away. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. In now, Jordan Alvarez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. And that's high and off the plate. Two and one. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. From the stretch. Hey. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Runner at second here with one man out. And 
And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Reese Hoskins will be next. He's set. Here's the three and two. Down the right field line, and that's going to be a fair ball. Throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Well, the beat goes on with this guy, runner in scoring position. No doubt when he comes up, he's thinking RBI. What does he do? Double the drive and another run. This guy is a money, money run producer. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. One ball, no strikes to count. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Here it comes, 2 and 0. Oh. Ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Alvarez, the runner at second with one away. Fouled away. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Now batting third baseman, J.D. Henry Silva takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Jason Martin will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Jason J.D. Davis will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. As a look, now the pitch. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. And the fastball sails on him, and that gets away. So now two men in scoring position. The one two. Well he hasn't thrown him a strike yet in this at bat. And we're two and two. Clearly on the mound he's banking on the fact that he'll chase pitches if you give him a chance. Come set. Now the pitch. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Runners are at second and third with one down. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, tough to say if that was their now intention that, or not, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. A force at every base now, so there are a lot of ways to get out of this. Jeremiah Jackson will come on now and pinch run here. So stepping in is Julio Rodriguez, trying here to plate the tying run from second. First pitch on its way. 
This is a situation where you have to step out of the box and tell yourself, my job is to get the runner in from third. It'd be nice to gap one and get them both in, but you want to take a little pressure off you offensively and just focus on being productive. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run. And the slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw on to first to be in time, but meanwhile, the lead shrinks to one here on the RBI ground ball. A simple ground ball to the infield, but the run does come home from third, and they cut their deficit to only one run. Striding in is Max Kepler trying to bring in the tying run from third here. And with first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. So stepping in is Jeff McNeil, a potential tying run for him at third base. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. A big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. Jason Martin will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Nick Lowe is into the game as well as he's the new first baseman. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Victor Robles. Victor Robles. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. One and one the count now. And the pitch. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter Francisco Mejia. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Reined in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back. Digging in will be Eddie Rosario. Eddie. Drove in a run with a sack run. fly last Rosario. time up. First offering. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Ball one. Oh. 
high fly ball out to straightaway center. Kepler's there for it. And that will end the inning. One, two, three go the Mariners. But they hang on to a one run lead, four to three. Alex Young comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Now into the box, Miguel Amaya. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. No balls in one strike. Bouncer up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'd be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. Plate now, Leody Tavares, as he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's one and zero. Oh. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. The second for one, on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. So now to the plate, Jacob Amaya. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Tavares stands at first with one out. Pitch out, nothing doing. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit out towards second. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not, and now we've got a couple of guys on. Standing in now, Jason Martin. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He'll enter play here with an average of 314, one home run, and four RBIs. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. So it was a swinging strike three. Jason Martin goes down for out number two in the top half. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Cowan over to his right. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, it's always been festive on Independence Day in the United States, but what makes the party even more fun is winning in front of your home crowd. Makes those fireworks even more enjoyable. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Seattle wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Mackenzie Gore earns his fifth winner of the year. Alex Young hammers down the save his 22nd. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.
our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Rangers, three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes.